Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this video, I will show you how to install Eclipse standard 4.4 version that is uh, Luna or package in Ubuntu 14.04 or Ubuntu 14.0. I have Ubuntu 14.010 latest version. Uh, you can also install in Ubuntu, Xubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint, 17 also. The same procedure you need to follow that I am going to show you about this video. Let us first show you about where you can download this Eclipse standard 4.4 Luna R package. First of all, you need to open any browser and type Eclipse uh, on your uh, search box. Uh, there you, you can see after pressing enter, you will find the first where, uh, link of the website of Eclipse. Uh, you need to click on the download or you can click on this site also. After clicking, you will become on the download page directly. So you can see this is uh, link uh, when you click on you will become here so you need to find about this uh, luna package this is uh, for windows proper supports uh, so you need to download for this is luna only uh, for if you want to go for this linux so you can click here linux and you will be so after clicking selecting on this linux uh, linux uh, you can find this about this java developer and je developer and i triple e developer you can find this is mv showing also you where you can download and 32 bit 64 bit supported so after clicking you need to find standard edition for this luna so here you can find this standard ellipse luna r package under them you can find ellipse standard 4.0 version that is region uh, to download you need to you can see this is a size 206 mb that is the size for each 32 bit mb or 64 bit mb for windows for linux 32 bit and 64 bit i have had the 32 bit os that that I have, I have already downloaded this one so you need to download this one uh, if you have a 64 bit os then you need to download 64 bit supported so let me show you here you can see this one is my ellipse standard lunar <coughs> linux this for this 32 bit supported standard which i have already downloaded this is the size is 204 mb and I am going to show you how to share this uh, file into your Ubuntu. To share the file, you need to download WinSCP login. Uh, you can search in Google and type WinSCP download where you can download after that download and just install it. And let me show you how to connect with that one Ubuntu. Uh, you need to open the your Ubuntu. This is my Ubuntu. I need to find the IP address, open the terminal. I need to find the IP address and the host name. Uh, so that we can connect to your uh, WinSCP. So I IF type config press enter. Here you can see this is my IP address 192.160.0.14. I mean to search for the host name. Type host name. You can see Ubuntu virtual box. With the help of IP address and Ubuntu virtual box, I am going to connect through the WinSCP. So click on new here. You need to type your IP address here on 192.168.0.114 and can type your host name as root also or you can type ubuntu hyphen virtual box you need to give a password and I'm going to save this one okay and login so you can see it's connecting we need to press yes and it's going to be connected instead of ftp uh, WinSCP, you can also download uh, filezilla or other ftp supported that is we need only just we need to we are taking actually when is to transfer the file <coughs> this asking the password which uh, to give again so i have connected here you need to locate your path where you have downloaded your linux standard luna so just click here and you will be on the download page so i'm going to transfer the file this one is the linux mint just we need to click here and to upload here we need to select the location where we we are going to install it under the home root ubuntu and here i'm going to select my desktop just to find so select your username here and just upload here going to upload so here after 
upload you can see here is the my download <coughs> ellipse just right click and go for extract here or else you can open with archive file here also so it will take some time so after extracting <coughs> one folder has been created with the name of ellipse double click on that folder and you can find this is your files are there everything this is the icon and this one is the ellipse uh, just double click on this set uh, lo settings of this your ellipse icon so it's loading and the first time itself is going to ask about this select a workspace where it is going to store and select a default location if you want to change you can browse and change the location check this box that it will next time it will not ask okay click ok and the workspace has been returned the older version or you want to continue yes okay <coughs> here is you can see loading so the for finally <coughs> you can see ellipse java has been installed uh, we do not need to install just we need to extract and just we need to open this file after the downloads so before we, uh, we go going to extract it it will ask to, for the installation of java in my previous video i have shown you how to install this java about uh, uh, se and triple double so you will find how to install java in my previous video please before installing ellipse you need to install java so here you can see this is my ellipse the file you can see you can manage the file menus about <coughs> classic java project everything you can, you can find If you have any question you can comment below to my video if you get any problem during the solution is you can comment below to my uh, video you will find a description also in, in my below video please subscribe to attic lot thank you thank you for watching attic lot video